Greetings, dear viewers. We're getting into another Player Unknown's Battlegrounds game today. And I flew a decent distance away from the plane where everyone else seems to have been dropping. So, oh, rooftop drop here, too. What that means, essentially, is that I have free roam to loot for a little bit here. And that's good. But I think the play area, the initial play area of the game is calculated based on the positions of the majority of players. Like maybe it takes an average and then applies an offset or something like that. And then that location is where the play area is centered to start. So I feel that if that is the case, Uh, then I'm going to be pretty far outside of it because I flew a decent amount away, a decent distance away. Of course, having said all that, I turns out I'm pretty close to the center of it, so, you know, whatever. It was just a theory. It's still a theory I have. I'm not sure how it chooses where the play area is going to be. It probably chooses the play area uh, first. And then it chooses where the plane is going to fly over. I don't know. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. I've got a first aid kit here, but I don't have enough space. Oh, look! Backpack. That was a pretty decent start. If only I could now get... an automatic weapon. We'd be... We'd be golden. Well, not really golden. But, uh, you know. We wouldn't be in bad shape go across this way and then I'll work my way to those two buildings right there okay two level one backpacks backpacks aren't weapons okay the two-story house should have something good statistically speaking I would hope so that's a third backpack well Besides the one I'm wearing. Fourth. Besides the one I'm wearing. Yeah, let's get that choke. Oops. Right. Yeah, I've got a... Well, I won't talk about that right now. There we go. Got us an automatic weapon right here. And some more 12 gauge. We don't really need the ACP ammo or the pistol anymore. Uh, red dot sight gets applied there. We don't need that. Okay, man. I like where this is going so far. However, runs like this can be ended fairly quickly. By just being in the wrong place at the wrong time or somebody else being in the right place at the right time for them. Okay, don't really want to do the Uzi. I'm pretty good with what I got. I don't, however, really like the AKM that much. Maybe it's simply because I haven't really learned how to use it yet. I haven't really given it a chance, to be honest, so... I don't want to say I don't like it. I will say I'm unfamiliar with it. Did I go in here? Feels like I didn't. I should start leaving interior doors open. But I often like to reset a house as I go through it. Okay, so I went through all this, right? I did this, then I went there. Did I go here yet? Man, I lost track. Commentary will do that to you. Give me a melee weapon. Some more 12 gauge. I got a ton of 12 gauge now. I won't be using this much 12 gauge ammo. <laughs> So I've got a pretty decent start, but I don't feel very secure right now. What do I lack? Uh, med supplies, a vest. Okay. Okay, we did that, we did this. 
I'm not sure if I checked that building. Oh, I started in that building. Yeah, okay, that's why that didn't look familiar to me. I landed on the roof. Then we have this that had like a million backpacks in this one or something like that. I don't know. I remember that gun. Okay. That was in the other house. Alright then. Well, like I said, we didn't really have anybody land too close to me. So I think I might be able to head over here. We'll see. I'm anxious to find out where the others are. Whoosh. And we've got this warehouse. We've got this big open field. Which I don't like running across. Yeah. There are so many places you can get shot from running across this little spot of the map right here. Shotgun time. Really? Nobody's been here. Oh, 2x scope. You know what? I prefer 1x scopes, but the 2x is new to this game. And I think I'll try it. Ooh. It's got a pretty sexy looking little green dot. Nobody's been here. Nobody dropped here. Interesting. If the warehouse is not looted, I'm going to take a calculated risk and just charge in here. Okay, yeah, the doors are all closed and everything. Crossbow lying on the ground. I feel like somebody would have picked that up almost certainly. Painkillers, somebody would have, without a doubt, picked up those. Those are almost essential for the late game. UMP9, no. the UMP9. Considering the amount of ammo for the UMP9 that is just lying around this building, might be worth swapping to that. Red dot sight. Lots of kabooms nearby. Oh, now kabooms over here. Which kind of buys me a little bit of uh, looting time, honestly. Because no one's going to rush in here. Gives me a measure of safety. Okay, over to the next building then. So I can be in this building while the bombs are going off. Okay. I really like the 686. Wait, did I have uh, loops or anything on this? I had a choke. Mm, might still need the red dot. Don't need more 12 gauge ammo that I don't. Here we go, a scar. There we go. We got us a scar now. That's gonna work. Wait, that didn't give me back my... My scope. Let's do this. Drag the scope off, just like so. Could put it on the ground. There we go. Scar. Scope. Ammo, ammo. Am I... Only 26 out of 30 available? Oh, I'm out of space. I'm out of space. Well, we don't need this 9mm ammo, so we can drop that. We no longer need the 762. So let's do this and this. Okay. Nothing else really comes in handy right there. Load this up. That 2x scope could really come in handy. Good thing we had that bombing run going on. 
Had to do some inventory management there. And while the bombs were going off, I felt a lot safer. <laughs> Which is something you wouldn't normally say. But while the bombs were going off, I did feel a lot safer with that uh, going on. Oh, wait, I already had a sickle? I'll take my originally looted one. This is one of those things, man. This is one of those things. Okay, there's still some other structures around here. I'm on single shot with the scar. Need more 5.56 ammo. Switched over. Oh, look, there's a vest right there. Cool. Um, I'm on single shot with the scar, but I like being on auto with it. The scar is pretty awesome because it serves as a close, medium, and with this 2x scope, perhaps somewhat long range option. I think the scar is really all I'm going to need here. I'll go across the street. Gotta start being a little bit more cautious, though. People have had time to shuffle around. They could be here. Yep, somebody's here. Heard him upstairs. See him looking over? No, that's a supply drop. Is it possible those were my footsteps? That didn't sound right. If I even heard footsteps. Yep, heard footsteps. He's up there. He just, he's exiting right now. We've got a vehicle coming in. Well, he may, not, he may not have exited the building. I don't like being in this position, honestly. Where you have to watch two corners. It's a bad spot. You have to do this, and you never know when someone's going to turn it or jump off the roof or whatever. This is a terrible spot to be in. So... Clear out this way. Just like that. And now we wait because we have a much greater angle, a much wider field of view on our potential target. Okay. I'm gonna head up here. You don't win this game. By having the most kills. As fun as it is. As fun as the gunplay is in this game. I can still hear his footsteps in there. So he's still on the second floor somewhere. But as fun as the gunplay is in this game. That's just not how you win it, man. A game about surviving. And in a real world situation, you would avoid such conflict whenever possible. It's about minimizing risk. going to close in pretty far pretty soon. I'm going to start making my way this way. One step at a time, right? One step at a time. There's no reason not to check this place while we're here. Backpack, beanie, okay, like I said, one step at a time, got some gunfire out in that direction, 
Oh, I'm liking my cover from here, though. But we do have an apartment building right there. Now, I don't intend to stop inside any of these buildings. I'm just trying to make it through this area. So let's plot my next route from cover to cover. From here to this tree. And then from that tree, along the whole tree line, to that car. I can take that car and then get out of here. Once I've got it, where am I going? Let's say there. Okay, good. Off we go. There's another moving vehicle out there. Out to the rock. Where is he going? Is he stopping? I doubt it. I would doubt that he would stop here. Whoa, is he coming for me? Nope. Is he looking for kills? He's driving on through. All right. Now, do this tree. I'm trying not to leave myself exposed to windows and potential avenues of fire for more than five seconds at a time. Well, somebody's firing, but I can't tell if it's on me. I don't see anybody in the windows. I didn't see any muzzle flashes. Didn't hear any glass break. I think I can clear right to that car. I'm not going to need my weapon, so I'm going to increase my sprint speed by putting up my gun. These guys aren't even watching their vehicle. Crap. Drive it. Drive it. There we go. And I'm out. <laughs> Somebody seems pretty upset. But hey, I needed a vehicle, and they didn't seem to care to care too much about theirs, so, you know. This is a difficult place to drive. But hey, look, I did it. Alright, so these buildings up ahead, don't really like them. Well... I don't have anything against the buildings, but I don't like the position that I'm in right now, in other words. Uh, I'll put it this way. I don't like the fact that there's probably somebody holed up in those. Crap. Yeah, there's a vehicle right there smoking. Tires blown out. There is... A very high element of danger here. There's no safety here. Well, there's likely no safety here. I'm just going to drive through the wheat fields. Slow down up here. Apparently the uh, play area has shrunk to this spot, or moved to this spot. So, let's hit that boost. Hey, don't be rude. A motorbike, that's cool. The building right up here. There's a red Dacia. Kind of slammed up against this building here. The lights are on. Yep, that's I saw someone in there. <laughs> the guy's trying to hold out for the whole game. I'm going to let him have his fun. We're going to try this spot. I could always jump into a bush and then wait it out but I'm trying to avoid that. You can definitely get number... You can get definitely get top 10 or top 5 with that fairly consistently. It's an easy way to do it. And of course, I will use it when appropriate. But I don't want to have to rely on it. I don't want that to be... I think I want to put it this way. I don't want to have already solved this game. Yeah. A little worried about that once I, once I hit the brakes there. So I, instead of getting out, it kept moving. That guy really should have taken a shot when he had the chance. But see, all the buildings in the middle of the play area are already taken. This was my playstyle a couple weeks ago, or like a week ago, a few days ago actually. My playstyle was to go to the center of the play area, find a building, and hole up inside that building. 
Now everybody's doing that. Most of these buildings in here are going to be occupied already. And they have defender's advantage. So it becomes my... It becomes the counter to that meta. Which I would like to state again I was doing before everyone else. It, okay, there have been two or three metas I've seen already. But it becomes the counter to that meta and the other meta to just hang out in bushes now. So hopefully there will be a counter to that one soon enough. Alright, I'm going to park my car over here. I'm going to open up the map and I'm going to put a waypoint on my car. Oh, wait. Never mind, I guess i got to move. Those guys have to move too. So there have been two metas I've noticed so far. One is the one that we see a lot of people using right now, which is to go to the center of the play area and find a building and hole up in that. You know, just race to it. It's a race. All right, let, let, let me talk about the metas in order, actually, from what I've noticed so far. There's a guy. You gonna sniper rifle me, boy? You gonna sniper rifle me, buddy? Boy. That's not the vernacular I wanted to use. I'm being shot at from everywhere. Alright. I might have to just take a building from somebody if I don't want to use the bush thing. Also, I'm not finding a very good spot to park this car away from a bush. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this real quick. This is the gas station I saw earlier. Let's just go ahead and park. Right there. Switching over to shotgun because he's hurt. Did he just light a Molotov? <laughs> he did. Well, I guess this is the building I'm going to take. Oh, there's a smoke grenade. Another player nearby. Oh, he's inside, I think. Well, this is not good. Unless that was that guy's grenade that he threw. After throwing the Molotov, I didn't think he had time. I'm going to act under the assumption that he didn't have time. Anyway. The point here is to find a bush at this point right now. This one might be okay. Nope. It's not okay. Let's move out over here. Let's keep in mind that the car is over there by the gas station. There's one. Shape is a big consideration when choosing the right foliage to hide in. Okay, here we are. So, let's talk about the three metas that I've noticed so far in this game. This game hasn't been out very long, so these have shifted very quickly. And a lot of these are set up by streamers, like popular streamers. And perhaps even, I don't want to, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything, but I do have a, a moderate degree of influence with a, a couple thousand views per video. You know, a light degree of influence, but even myself, even YouTube videos like myself, like my own, which show this brush tactic, these, uh, this foliage tactic. You know, the meta seems to be shaped by that kind of thing, just like with any other competitive game. People see it done, people see it being effective on streamers, channels, and on YouTube channels, and they adopt those strategies and they start doing those. Or, and you know, some of these things are also just discovered by happenstance, like players just happen to, discover, happen to discover what works and see other players doing it, and that's how metas are formed, just several different factors. So the first one I noticed was players tended to want to hang out by the force field. See that big old blue force field? Yeah, players tended to like to hang out with their back to that force field, and they would move up slowly every time the force field moved up and the play area got smaller and smaller. That way, the reasoning was, you were not likely to have somebody sneak up on you from behind, because if you have the force field to your back, then um, obviously that's going to, for the most part, keep people clear from uh, sneaking up, it keep you clear from having people sneak up behind you. So it was considered the safe play to uh, move up with the force field like that. 
All right, so what's the counter to that? Well, I noticed everybody was doing that. Uh, it, or so it seemed everybody was doing that. Like, I, I, I read, like, a comment maybe too. I don't know. I, I read a little bit about it. I don't really read a lot about it. That's hard for me to explain. But it seemed like that's what streamers were doing, and it seemed like that's what players were doing as a result. And even one or two of the comments, maybe something like that, on my YouTube videos, uh, reinforced that. So what did I do? I decided I would race ahead of the force field. I would stay in the middle of the play area. Let me go to open up the map. I would stay in the middle of the play area and find a building and hole up inside that building. That way, I would avoid all the players that are sitting at the perimeter and let them take each other out. That's what that's what my strategy was. And it seems, as we've just run into here in this game, that that's what's happening here. Uh, people are racing ahead uh, of the people that are at the perimeter because that was the former meta. That was the previous meta. So to counter that, people are racing ahead and doing what I was doing, which was to hang out in these buildings inside the play area and hole up in there. That way you have defender's advantage and it gives you a better chance. And of course you're doing better against the... Uh, other players. Now I'm, I'm going to have to move up here. Um, let's get going. This is inside the play area. Like this. Nope, I don't like that. We're going to hang out right here. All right. So we don't have, we don't really have a good bush to uh, run to here. So anyway, that was to counter the previous meta. So now that everybody's doing that, we've got foliage tactics. Which is what people are doing to counter both of those metas. Folia's tactics have the same advantage of running ahead of the force field and all the players at the perimeter. It has the same advantage of avoiding those players and letting them fighting out. And the advantage of holding up somewhere and playing defensive. Uh, but it loses the advantage of cover. You don't have actual cover, you just have concealment. Uh, but you don't have to be... Bushes are everywhere. You don't have to be at specified locations. Like, you don't have to be here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here. Or here, 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 specifically. You can be at any of these bushes. Uh, or just any of the foliage. That's why it's called foliage tactics. That's why I call it foliage tactics. <laughs> uh, but you can be in any of those locations instead. Oh, there goes somebody. Is he going to hide behind that tree? Do I have visual of him, or did he hide on the other side? He hid on the other side, I think. Well, I could try and uh, scope to find out. Can I lean? Can I lean over? Okay, let's pull back in. No need to draw attention to myself. There's five players left. And the play zone is about to start shrinking. That guy at that tree has an advantage over me. A pretty big one. Uh, I have to start running directly over there. He's going to have to start running directly over there, too. I'm going to charge him. Come on, buddy. Top five. I'm okay with this. This has already made a good video. Off we go. i got to try and keep up. Is he already moving? I think he's already moving. Okay. I'm going to have to put my weapon away so I can beat the force field with my sprint speed. The other guy's right over there. Okay, I'm inside the play area. I'm actually going to take cover behind this tree. Oh, that guy's taking shots. He's taking shots. Okay. Play area's up ahead too. Oh, it's me and another guy. Fun, fun, fun. Where are you, friend? Well, I'm on auto with the scar, so it comes down to this. He's behind that tree over there, no doubt, like, doubtless. We're, we're both going to have to run forward here in the next minute. Anyway, yeah, I think the next step is people are going to start shooting random bushes. Not really random, but suspicious. Brush. Smoke grenade. That's pretty clever. Got to give you that. It's pretty clever. It's pretty neat. 14 seconds. He's moving up. In the world. I have. I'm going to have to be the one to move out. He's going to be able to see me. Four seconds, three seconds. Oh, I just put another one down. And out I go. Boom! 
Let's see ya, buddy. Let's see ya again, buddy. Well, I had it on burst. I should have had it on single fire. If I had it on single fire, I'm pretty sure I would have got him. But that's top two. I hope you folks enjoyed this video. I hope you folks enjoyed the talk of the meta. And I'm hoping, as far as credibility is concerned, the fact that my recent videos have been number ones, top fives, really, uh, will help you uh, understand that. Hopefully, hopefully you'll see that I might have a little bit of an inkling that I know what I'm talking about. Not that that's really, really important or anything like that, because, you know, it's right now the game is really early. I don't know. I don't know how to put it. I don't know. I feel like I might be bragging at this point. Uh, I think, I think I just take what I said, what I just said, I guess, uh, I'm trying to remain humble while talking about it, but I also want to make sure that I don't sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. It's very strange. I should probably just state what I'm going to state confidently and then just leave it at that, but <laughs> I don't know. When you're a YouTuber, you can already see the comments from people coming in whenever you make any kind of statement like that. So you sometimes as a YouTuber, somebody who faces an audience like that, you tend to try and preempt some of the comments you imagine coming in. And I think that's part of me trying to, some of what I'm talking about right now is me trying to preempt some of those comments. Anyway, once again, I hope you folks enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you folks next time.